Okay everybody, Mike Pfeiffer, Pfeiffer Hobby Supply. Once again, today we're going to do update 113. And it's just going to be a culmination of video I've been taking while I've been working on this uh, back here. And we'll see what I can piece together for 113 and I hope you enjoy it. Okay, I don't know where I last videoed, but uh, I have this track down in here glued and it's all uh, soldered. Um, what it wound up to be is I didn't have enough clearance over there. I thought I had enough clearance and I did not. So I had to lift that 9 inch piece right there up an inch on the other side to keep it level going across that track and I had to take the brace I have under there, the wooden uh, stringer that goes up and holds that up and lower it down so basically between the top of that curve right up there and down here to where it makes this jog is about uh, a little under a 3% grade and then beyond that curve it's 2% on up but um, we do what we have to do but I do have that functioning all the way down here uh, at least to this point I have to carve out some foam underneath here it's not tall enough, I mean, it's not cut up enough here for the locomotive to get through. I'll cut that at some other point, but right now I have some track. Let me swing out here. Some track over there laying on the workbench that I'm waiting for the soldering iron to get hot to solder up. And then I'll come back and take a little video and show you where that's going. Uh, this, this outside line here, too, I've come to the realization that all the way down over to the back corner over there and possibly even partially down there is going to have to be three percent it's just going to have to be I just don't have enough room to get to where I want to be uh, this track out here no problem I can make it I have enough room to make it whatever I want to make it in fact it can be flat at some point uh, but that back track I just it just goes down to the wall goes across the back there then turns and I was hoping to hit the two tracks at the same level but that may or may not happen I may have to stagger the two tracks something like that the one on the outside might have to be higher and slope a little more and at some point they would come down here and come together and then come onto the shelf down here so I think this is the last video I'm going to do I think I'll make 113 uh, tonight possibly uh, maybe tomorrow morning um, today is Wednesday the third or something uh, I'm not exactly sure but anyway we'll see how it goes okay gang we're gonna test this locomotive through the section that I have in over here you have to understand that I don't have all the support under it over there but And it's going downhill right there, and right about there it will be at foam level. Okay, just as a test, <clears throat> that's a 3% grade. Um, and I'm going to start a locomotive with 14 cars, single GP locomotive. And it started on the grain on the grade rather with no slipping. And if they all stay on the track, we'll watch it come all the way up here. Of course it's hesitating through the double crossover because I haven't cleaned the double crossover. But now the cars are on 3%, or most of the cars were on 3%. Now the locomotive and cars are entering 2%. So we are proving here that one locomotive will pull, and those are some of those cars are pretty heavy. Uh, I weighted most of those box cars at the back, uh, and they're pretty heavy. So one locomotive without slipping will definitely pull the train, a 14 car train, up the 3% grade. So, if I run two locomotives all the time, it's going to be no problem whatsoever. Okay, everybody, that's 113. I hope you enjoyed it. It seems like the plan is coming together. 
I have to do as I no, I didn't say in the video, but I, I'm going to tell you right now. We have to do three percent, or maybe I did say it in the video. I don't know. I've I've recorded clips so much so often uh, that I don't know where I am. But it's going to have to be three percent from where it crosses over there on top down because I don't have enough room. And I think I did say that in one of the video clips, so I won't bore you with that again. But it's going to have to be 3% to a certain point down here, and obviously that's going to be okay. So, hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching!